we're here and we're leading in a fucking titty, so get used to it, nigga. What's good, Josh? Your boy, Trey Bird and this bitch, and I'm here with a few guests of mine. This is my roommate. I'm Stitch. These are a couple friends of ours. Introduce yourself. How's it going? Sup, I'm Jack. Don't be awkward. What are your names? Oh, <laughs> it's Andrew. <laughs> oh, 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 it's oh, yeah. It's like, camera's on. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, really yeah. oh, Alright, <laughs> right. and we're here today, tonight, I mean, to introduce you to the Universal Yum series. This is the first video ever, okay? And I've got a monthly subscription for this crap, so you better enjoy it. Um, just kidding. Fucking love you guys. Anyway, yeah, we got this from Asia, and it looks like we've got enough to go around. I'm gonna have everyone else here taste test this with me, because... I didn't want to do this by myself, you know what I'm saying? It'd be kind of awkward. Would you say? Would you agree? Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. I'd probably say that, yeah. Understood. Might affect the waistline a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Struggles infinitely. <laughs> You're like, I have one in my car. That made it seem ripper, <laughs> but right. it worked. Fingers crossed I don't cut myself. Old rusty blade. Oh, we... Yay, he didn't cut himself. Here goes nothing. <laughs> no. It Just should kidding. have been an explosion. It should have been. Oh Are my you gosh. That's, flavor? that's a South Korea on it. South Korea? Right. I I thought it was Asia. Yums. South I Korea like is this. in Asia. Yeah. You're technically still right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we... um. So bad, I don't know what the hell to do here. There's like a whole manual. I don't think it's a manual. It's more like information about things that are going on and where this the products are from. Grab a pen, turn up the tunes, snap a selfie, end with the movie. Oh, and there's like a quiz thing. Did you see that? I think I did. That's what we're trying. What does it say? Trivia train. Okay, oh. so here's what I think we should okay. do. Every time we try something new out of the box, and after we say what it is we think, then we do a trivia question. Oh. Ooh. That sounds fun. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Good. You even got a, you didn't even give us a snicker. A sticker? A snicker. snicker. <laughs> now, okay. we have a snicker from, snickers from the South Korean region? That would be, awesome. be intriguing. I want to see the Japanese box, because it better be filled with all those delicious-ass Kit Kats. Mmm. Kit Kats are delicious. Yeah. Um, what I was thinking That's when true. it comes to, like, trying the snacks, I was thinking we could do um, the uh, texture, the flavoring, the packaging. You know, like... Give this a one out of ten or something. Yeah. Just the overall experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that it is a one out of ten. We don't know yet. That's why we're doing this. Before we like taste it, can we like say what all's in here and just give our thoughts on yeah. what the names are? Yeah, like presentation. So it looks like we've got ourselves I'm gonna like try spike. So it's a churro snack. Um, let me take that closer to the camera so yeah. people can see it. Yeah, some kind of churro snack. And flavoring on it. It's like a... Oh, it's a cinnamon flavor, of course. But, I mean... I had to, like, you know, guess. Because churros come in many flavors, if I'm not mistaken. That's true, they do. And then we have a spicy chicken flavor corn puffs. Okay, so this is something I'm not going to be trying, because I will not be able to handle the spice, if you know what I'm saying. Literally, uh, everybody in here is not a spice person, so that I, that's it. I, I am. I am a spice person. Okay, good, because I don't usually like spice, but I might have to try it just for the science. Then maybe maybe in, in the bedroom, bedroom, but not here. But it literally <laughs> says hot on the package. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, the hot sauce I use regularly is actually 8 out of 10 on the scotch scale. So Damn. Yeah. Okay, I can't read this, but peach-flavored gummies. No. I'm not very much a huge fan of peach, but because we're doing a video, I will go. I will give it a go. I'll try it. Does that look like Pocky? Yeah, yeah, it does yeah. kind of look like Pocky. That's what yeah. I was looking at. I'm excited for that. The Pero White know. Cookie. Pero White, like so it looks like a knockoff Oreo like, on a Pocky stick. 
knockoff. Or a Horeo. Yeah. A Horeo? Yeah, no, 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 no. Brand in Korea. Look, you leave me out of it, okay? <laughs> it's just the number one brand in Korea. Like, <laughs> you get it, that's how funny. And then, wow, we have shrimp chips. I think I've had these before, actually. Like, we were in a, um... That's interesting. Yeah, we were in one of their stores, and... Uh, like, they had one here in St. Louis, and at the time I was with my family. And Asia? Um, I don't remember the Is name of the like... store. So, I'm sorry, I'm looking further in the box, and it looks like a Korean whoopie pie. What? This? Oh, man, we're gonna have to cut that into thirds. Chocolate. Thirds? There's four of us, four dude. Of us, sorry, four of us. <laughs> okay. I yeah. mean, how much it's alcohol have you had already? I've had none. Okay. I don't believe that. He might oh. naturally be high on life. Shots, 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 shots. So, oh, it's written in French, it looks like. Pourquoi de assez? You could read that better than me. <laughs> Which, according to the little paper, that's not Korean. <laughs> it does not tell us what it is. <laughs> But it looks like it's some sort of a, like a vanilla cookie with some sort of white frosting or cream. It looks like it's white cake because there's a picture of cake on there. Yeah. Oh, there is. Huh. Okay. So yeah. Maybe right. it's like a white cake. Some kind of shortcake. Is that? Cool. That's going to taste really good. It, it looks, looks good. good. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of food here. Uh, this one actually stuck out. Um, oh, ramen. wow. Noodle snack. So it's ramen turned into a snack. Don't and boil it. Smash it's the it. bulgogi flavor. Oh, bulgogi's really good. It I literally is eat. a pack of ramen. Like, you can feel it, but it says, smash it, don't boil it. Which, I've actually to... done that before. With yeah, I have. Ramen. It's not bad. You break it up, and then you shake a little seasoning packet in, and then you go shaking it like crazy, and it's right. like potato chips. They legitimately want us to Super Mario Bros. smash this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And this one also caught my attention. It looks like gum. Sweet and sour chewy. Like vitamin it's, C. It's sweet and sour grape flavored chews, according to this paper. Oh, okay. So it's not gum. It's just like something like now. Probably like now and later, or yeah, mamba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking mamba. It's like yeah, high chew, like, maybe? And then last but not least, we have a premium dessert cake. Oh, okay, so it's like another one of one of these, but it might look It's not like a cookie though. I right. think it's more like an like a ding dong maybe, maybe. But thinner. It, it does look thinner. Props to Ben. He's the one getting up and sitting Props. down, doing all the exercise while our lazy asses just sit here and commentate on snacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, my vote is we go straight for the ramen stuff. Mostly because I want to smash it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's like move this stuff. Got something to smash it with? Yeah. Okay, let's hope the neighbors don't complain. Very true. <laughs> this is the FBI, open up. FBI, open up! Who wants to try it first? I'm going to nominate him. Mm. All right, all right. I'll get the shot. Over a little. I'll get the like shot. crumbs now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I don't think we need to do any more of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought we were gonna say the beating call later. Okay. <laughs> hey, the beatings will continue until morale is All right. All right. Here we go. Wait, before you like bite into it, you should like smell the package. Make sure there's not like a seasoning packet inside that you need to like. Yeah, break open. Sure and sure is there? Looks good like call. Good, good okay. call, Ben. Okay. You might want to put it in there and then shake yeah, it then shake it and then smell it. That might. Because you're about to eat oh. like plain ramen. That would not be <laughs> <taste. You're laughs> That's weird. It's kind of strange. They considered that as a snack in Korea. Yeah, I mean, I have a, a snack friend here that uh, too. eats it like that. That eats it raw like that. Really? Mm -hmm. The only downside to doing it that way is if the ramen is not like a more fresh ramen, then you end up with this really dry, nasty flavored ramen that you're like chewing on and it gets stuck in your teeth and stuff. Come on, Look shake it like you're in your bedroom. All right, I'm gonna shake it up here. Make sure that we get the we get the seasoning all over the place so everyone gets a fair 
Or shake. <laughs> he, let, he put white stuff all over the table. I thought he was saying oh that's my the camera goes gosh. off. Y'all are a mess. <laughs> I can't say what I was going to say because I know there are certain people that watch this channel. So I'm just going to... What does it smell like first? Remember smell? Um, it smells like a like a very ramen-y type of taste. It, it has like seasony taste. It's very ramen-y and seasony taste, I would say. Um, let's, let's just get into the bite here. See what the bite tastes. Uh, first bite was unsuccessful. It <laughs> fell on the floor. Okay, Bill uh, Nye. Five going, seconds rule. We're going for bite two, and I don't believe in the five second rule. But, uh, here's bite two. Uh, or bite, technically bite one right here, but let's go. Let's get into it. That's the bag. They taste really good. I would say kind of like um, burrito taste. So on a scale of one to five? I would give it like a, like maybe a three and a half. What stands out? The texture, the flavor, the smell? Um, I think it's, all together, it's pretty good. Like, it's something I wouldn't snack on, like, all the time, but I would snack on, like, maybe every now and then kind of thing. You know, I just get, it kind of tastes like chips, to be honest with you. Man. Okay, your turn. Well, it smells like a bobo bogogi beef bowl. have had those before. They're really good, especially if you get them in Korean restaurants. I'm intrigued. Mm. It definitely tastes like one. It's really good if you've enjoyed a good bogogi beef bowl. Mm. Can't where complain. You, where do you get those? Uh, so beef here beef in St. Louis, there's a place called Soul Taco. Yeah. Where you oh, yeah, yeah. You can also get them at like the grocery store. They so, sell like uh, frozen bogogi beef bowls. What is your thought? On that smell just like, you went, whoa. Definitely yeah, wow. If were, I mean, if you were to rate this on a one of five, what would you, what would you rate this? Uh, probably a three for me, I'd say. And what stands out for you? Uh, texture for me, or the smell? texture, the flavor, obviously, it really made, really did taste like a bogogi beef bowl to me. I was surprised. All right, and Trey Murda. Hey, this, um, I'm getting really bacony vibes when I smell this. Like, you know how bacon fish smell? Oh. Well, this smell exactly like it. And it's probably right. a pork of a bogogi beef bowl. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, I told you. Hey, that's not bad. I kind of get a, um, I don't know. Like, when it comes to the crunch, I'm thinking a bit of, yeah, I agree with, um, what he was saying when it comes to, like, I'm going to have me another one of these. <laughs> okay. When, when Dude, he, when he said, like, he gets a Frito vibe, but I was also thinking a little bit Ooh. of, uh, just a small percentage of a rice cake kind of thing. You know? I can see that too. Yeah. I can't agree more with you. That's the it has a really familiar taste. Like, the crunch, it's so familiar. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I can see the bacon thing that you're talking about, uh -huh. but for me, it actually reminds me of the first time I went to Soul Taco when it was only a food truck. Oh. Like, you literally had to chase down the food truck, and it wasn't like it was out at regular hours. It was out at like 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. Randomest time ever. But I remember this smell. Oh my gosh, it takes me back to being at a food truck outside of a bar at 2 in the morning, ordering some Korean tacos. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that sounds so good now. Yeah. Oh man. Mmm. You're really good. I know. Let me have another one. Just wow. These are really good. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, my score would be like four and a half. Because it reminds me so much of a real street taco with that bobogi flavor. Mm -hmm. And I know it's just the seasonings that they put on the meat, but it really does come through. Mm -hmm. I really neglected to give my score. I actually give this a four, like a solid four. It's pretty good. I would snack on this, but not like every day. You know what I'm saying? Very true. You get to pick the next thing off the table since Trey picked the ramen. I didn't pick the ramen. <laughs> I didn't pick it. It wasn't me. My vote is we go straight for the ramen stuff. I know that I'm I'm kind of intrigued by these churro snacks. As someone that has oh, yeah. tried churros before, I'm gonna go with it. and loves them a lot, I am intrigued by it. No. You can't do it, folks. No, you I just can't. can't do it. It's weird to open. Let me get scissors and a pen for that matter. <laughs> Hold on, I see. I see where you're supposed to open it. Here, rip it. Oh, he's right. Oh wow, this kind of reminds me of uh, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch almost, mm -hmm. like the smell of it. All right. But they look like cute mini churros. 
Okay, okay, so before you try it, let's each get one. I'm excited. So we can all have the same experience at one time so we don't feel like we're influenced. Oh, I am very intrigued by these, honestly. Whoa. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, wow. Like, really hits you. Okay, yeah. so I am getting the vibes of the smell of IHOP on like a busy Sunday morning. So you can smell oh, like syrup. syrup. And syrup. Yeah. There's like uh, cinnamon pancakes that you can get. Yeah. 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 Like all right, on three. Wow. One, two, three. Oh my word. Mm, wow. Oh, so you guys all seem like really excited by this one? I I feel like it's lackluster. I know, I'm a little let down by it. Yeah. I don't I, get I it. Like, sure are we taste. The it first... smells amazing, but I think because the texture is so crispy that it almost lets me down because I was feeling I was expecting like more on the inside. Yeah. And like yeah. I, I probably would take this and pair it with some caramel dip. Because the caramel might stick inside once you dip it down. So then when you eat it, you get that like squishy caramel flavor on the inside. Or, this is the American in us, take that bag, dump it in a bowl, and put some milk with it. That does sound good. That does sound good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that really does. You know what I think yeah. it is? It's actually pretty nice. Like, it's not terrible. It's not disgusting. But, like, it does miss a little something. But it's satisfying to the crunch. It and is. when I bit into it, I was like, okay, yeah, I dig this. So I say three out of five. Yeah, for me personally, I feel like I do get that more cereal you guys vibe. Another than one? Portable no, I'm good for right now. Um then the cheer and like the you know, the churro <laughs> vibe that you're trying to go for when you go for one of these. But when you go and you buy churros, they're very expensive. I imagine that this bag is not as expensive as some churros can be. I um, you know, so uh, I, I'd probably give it about a three out of ten. Like, it's not disgusting. It's not gross. It's 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 all right. It's like mid tier. Definitely not S tier. I, I would <laughs> say like you should probably consider this if you're maybe more on a budget and you just want that. Like cinnamon toast, <laughs> feel, you know, churro feel. But overall, this one. not awful, not the best. In the middle. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> it's full, <laughs> disgusting, hate it. I'm giving it a two, a solid two. <laughs> Since we did a uh, savory, then we did a sweet. Let's do another savory. So let's let's go for the. Ch Where's my phone? Huh? Well, yes, you yes. picked the churros. Right. <laughs> I'd say about two out of four for me. Oh, your score. Oh. Yeah, you. All right, <laughs> passes, man. Well, I thought I heard you say your score, but I guess it was him. Two out of five. <laughs> two out of five. <laughs> okay, it was good. It wasn't great, though. As someone, right. It kind of reminded me of like a Costco churro almost. Like dried oh, out. Oh, wow. All right, so it here wasn't we go. Great. All right, all right. We're going for the shrimp chips. Oh, uh, this is the one I was least excited for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let's see how they make them. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Yeah, me too. How they smell? <laughs> just the look at it. Like, like face. dried <laughs> shrimp. There's a pullback of it. And it's a puff. Like, oh, it's like a rice cake puff. Oh. Smell it. Like, oh, doesn't it smell like a, a nasty ass seafood counter? It smells like bad cooking. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't going to go <laughs> there. <laughs> but wait till she did. I just smell the bag. I'm like, Jesus. It doesn't smell that bad. All right. I actually did agree. you smell it yet? I did smell it. <laughs> you, get my, you get what I'm saying, yeah, though, right? I, I pretty much agree with everything you just said. said. Leave see it to the straight, man. I'm not wrong. All right. One, two, three. My first thought is this is the texture I was expecting for the churro. Same. It's. So normally like a rice cake is like really hard and crunchy. This is actually really soft. Mm. But I'm having a hard time detecting the shrimp flavor in it now. I am too. It's just like I can salt. smell it where it smells like a seafood counter, but I'm just not, I don't know. For me, I can. Oh, I can there it is. Yeah, I had it. I Now it's starting to come through. I can taste the shrimp. Yep. Yeah. It had a weird texture to it for me. Definitely not my my go to when I'm looking for like what chip to buy. I guess if I was at a seafood you know it's not. Go ahead, sorry. I guess if I was at a seafood restaurant, I might swing for these. Like if this was a side choice, but 
Other than that, it's like, nah, nah, I don't want my breasts stinking all night. <laughs> you certainly ain't gonna kiss a woman with that mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Okay. The flavor finally came in and it tasted okay. The texture is really good, and I kind of want to try more of it simply because of how soft it is. But that initial reaction I had, I'm like, mm, yeah, not so much. I can agree with. But that. I could totally feel like this would be like a secret ingredient on chopped, like, and you have shrimp chips to figure out in your meal. <laughs> Bacon dessert, put them in. <laughs> Which I could totally see someone like breaking these up and turning them into like a breading for like chicken nuggets or something. Oh yeah, or a fish itself. <laughs> okay, rating. Uh, actually, after the flavor kicked in, I would say three and a half. Or 3.75, actually. I'm gonna get mine out of the way. You already know what mine is. Uh, it's a full star, okay? I have to agree that the, the smell, it was not as good. You know, it did smell. <laughs> it did. <laughs> but once you put it in your mouth, that's when it was like, for me, of course, I'm giving it a five star. Yeah. Thank you. I can't yeah. agree with the putting in your mouth and go, <laughs> but for me, 3.25 out of out of five. Okay. Not <laughs> great, but not good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not uh, that silly bad. Personally, I give this a two out of five. Um, <laughs> it definitely just wasn't that pleasant. One to one. All right. Real good. Man. Wasn't the one here. Right. Right. I know you two and me, for that record, don't really like spicy stuff. But when we get to that one, I think just for the science of it, we all need to go ahead and give it a shot. It's funny because I was actually going to say the same thing, but in a different way. I was going to be like, hey, y'all, what if we just fucking dove right up in this shit? <laughs> and gave, <laughs> just gave it a whirl. Be like, like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I think one of the reasons why I'm like thinking of this right now is because there's a lot of sweet stuff left on the table. Mm -hmm. and so if we only... get it out of the way, then we can use the sweet stuff to kind of overcome that spice. Let's do this shit right now. Like... I agree. Might as well get out of the way. Agree more. What's the weight? Let's All right, since you like spicy stuff, I'm going to let you cut it open. All right, I get the honors. And you'll get the first smell of it, too. Perfect. It's got to be like... What is this? Spicy chicken flavor? Okay. I've never had chicken flavor. Do we know what it reads? What does it say? Uh, I don't speak Korean. Uh, I don't either, and it doesn't say it on there. Um, hot spicy chicken. It just says fried, fried chicken, chicken, chicken flavored corn, corn puffs. Yeah, that's all it says on the bag here. Now, I'm going to be shocked if it's more like when it says hot, it means like Popeye's hot instead of like. I don't think this is going to be too hot. Like Szechuan hot. So, so is that some kind of popcorn or something? That's what it looks like. You got some kernels in there, man? Yeah. No, I don't do kernels. No, it's not like that. Okay. I think it's like popcorn on Mars. Kind of reminds me of like a popcorn shrimp. Smell it and try it. From like KFC. Smell any spice? A little bit, but. I heard it bad. It's like a corn nut or something. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of tastes like if you had. Um, it tastes like a wasabi pea in a way. Uh -huh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. A little you bit. You like wasabi, which is weird to me because. It's spicy well, as hell. Well, wasabi is good with sushi. You know what I'm saying? If you're a sushi eater, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, was wasabi is bad on its own. That's why <laughs> you're supposed to eat it with other stuff. It kind of tastes like a rice cake wasabi pea. Is what I got from it. Well, it's simply a little hot, but that's not as I was thinking. Yeah, it's not Speaking of giant letters that say hot on it, I thought it'd be a little Maybe more for South Korea, this hot. is what would be considered hot. I well, guess it's my Mexican blood in me. A lot of our hot chips here aren't very hot either. Very true. Like hot Cheetos. I kind of get spicy ramen noodle vibes from that. That's you know true. Man. I, oh, can I can see, see that. that. I can't even really smell like it being spicy, but it Ooh, does look like a Ooh. Cheeto. <laughs> it does kick <laughs> in a little bit. Ooh, it's got a kick to it. Damn. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yes. It was like a little sweet at first. Exactly. Yeah. Then it hits you. Then it hits and you're like, oh, that was a mistake. It just hit me. I was like, Whoosh. I'm so glad I like chewed it on the side of my tongue and not the center because I feel like I I'm that tingling mistake. on the side yeah. of my tongue. I made um, that mistake. I Woo. really don't want to swallow this. Fuck. Come on, you used to it. Just swallow it. It hit my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Trey, you're up to pick the next item on the table. What are the ratings of this? 
What oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to give okay. mine. Like, of course, I don't really do spicy foods or popcorn for that matter. However, the texture of when I chewed into it, it, it was actually like really, really soft. Like, when you bite into one of them, um, them Chester Cheetos puffs, them little popcorn things, it tasted just like that. So, like, I will okay. give that, you know, and just because it was spicy, I'm, I'm just going throw out a five not only that but because of the you know how it tasted when it, when you crunched into it like the crunchiness was present like i'm you know what i'm saying this is good i do i'm gonna give it even though i don't normally like spicy stuff i'm definitely giving it a four and a half but i will also asterisk that with knowing that like in asia spicy is not the same across most asian cultures so this is not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. The spice do hit different. It does hit. Yeah. Like, yeah, because like even after drinking the water, the spice is kind of like already going away. Yeah, they don't last. Like, <laughs> well, you did yours on the side. I'm out of tongues. I'm like, Whoa. well, yeah, but I mean, so I learned that from watching the anime Food Wars with oh, yeah. Trey Herta, and that's a good one. Watching them eat spicy stuff and be like, it's not hot enough, even when there's like so much hot stuff on the food. It's just crazy, but let's move forward. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I'm gonna give this a full S rank, um, just because I I like the the fireball effect that you get when you bite into this. It feels like you're biting into a wasabi pea, and I I mean I'm not really a big fan of wasabi peas, but at the same time, it's, it gives you that fire effect. What I'm looking for, I I would I'd pick this up as a uh, as a little snack. I can agree with that. I can. For me, it's a four. Four. Just solely because I'm not a fan of spicy foods. But it was good. I'd definitely go for it again. I understand. I just probably wouldn't pick it right off the shelf. Right. If it was there, I'd be like, sure, I'll hate it. It's good. It's not my first choice. Okay, what are we getting rid of the spice with? That's your call. We have chocolate, you know chocolate, what? chocolate, <laughs> cake, or peaches, or grape. <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. I think we should do this one. So this is the sweet and sour grape hard candy? Yeah. Yeah. Them Lanaon laters from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that, I want that wow. It really does look like a noun. Yeah, it really but does. But at the same time, it kind of gives Actually, it, it looks like a mamba. It does. Yeah, that's what it I was It looks like a mamba say. chew. It does. Mm. I love mambas. There, it does. Do you? No. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> I really hope this isn't a gum. Why? No, I, I, no, it's not gum. Like, spit it out. Not Appearance. Hand, it does look like a mamba. That's crazy. <laughs> he went to open the package and ripped the label off. Well, I let cut the label in half. <laughs> Trey over here with his sex face while he's eating it. No. <laughs> I was trying to pretend like I'm a cow or something. Or a camel. Oh. oh. I'm just looking it all over. Okay. Alright. Whoa. Hold on. Where did that come from? Isn't that sour a little bit? It, there's a little sourness to it. Wow. Mm. Um, the fact that it has so much flavor. I feel like I'm in Food Wars, like you went saying. But like, oh. this really is mellowing down the spice for me. It's like, this is a good choice. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I like how it really draws out the saliva in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is sweet, but it's also sour at the same time. Like, the, the sour does not level at the same time with the sweet. And here's the sour and here's the sweetness. But it's not too sour to where you can't differentiate. Um I like it. I would give this a three and a half out of five. Cause, simply because it's not what I thought it was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was gonna be like something like a a, a high chew. You know? I thought it was gonna taste like that. But it of course it hit different. <laughs> and I'm not mad at that. <laughs> but so I got the mamba texture for sure out of it. So true. And I really like the flavor, despite the fact that the side of my tongue is still tingling from the spicy thing we just had. <laughs> um, 
even the sourness to it was actually what I would expect from like a regular grape anyway. So I'm giving it a solid five S rank. Like it's up there. Like if this was in the store side by side with Mamba and now and later, I'm going to grab this every time. I can agree with that. I can. It is really good. I'm going to give it a 4.5 for me. It was good. It was great. I liked the sour and sweet, how they didn't, like, one didn't overpower the other, like mm -hmm. Trey was saying. It was really good. Great. For me, I really like this one. I'm going to give it a 4.7 out of 5. Not a perfect S rank, but um, for me, I, I want to experience more flavor than this. I want to go to Pan-Asia. I want to see if they have any other flavors of this specific. Um, what is this? What is this called? It's not Gordon Ramsay vibes you're giving me. It's Anthony <laughs> Bourdain. Because <laughs> he has a show that travels the world, like, testing food and tasting food and talking about the culture. And you're just like, it's like we're on the Travel Channel or the Food Network. <laughs> listening to you. I'm thinking more like Joe Bastiano. Over here. Our, it's called RE. So if I, when I go to Pan-Asia again, I'm definitely going to go look for RE and see if they have other flavors. I, you rank, you rank, I rank, he rank. My vote is the next thing we probably dig into has to be chocolate because we have... We want to alternate the flavors here, so... Which one? It's a few. It's the question. Do we want to cut something, or do we just want to dig in? I... Um, personally, this is what caught my eye first, the premium dessert cake. I so think... Let's do it. We just think... snap it and then snap it. All right. All right. <laughs> all righty, crumb. All righty, break it, I bet. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, got a little knife. Just... All righty, crumb. Why are you breaking a bit? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, got a little knife. Just one of those halves in half for you and someone else. Take a piece and then pass it to your neighbor. Okay, that's nice to know we're in church. <laughs> Show your neighbor you love your neighbor. I love you, neighbor. We love each other, neighbor. As soon as you said that, I thought in my head that you were going to like pause the video and insert a clip of a, like from a sermon and then pass it back off. Right. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I love, I love you, neighbor. You, neighbor. The Lord loves you, neighbor. We love each other, neighbor. neighbor. So let's go for it. Hmm. It is definitely a ding dong copycat. Hundred <laughs> percent. It doesn't have as much of the frosting in the middle as a ding dong though. But that's because they don't like. America is one of the only countries that has like so much sugar in their desserts. That's true. So it literally tastes like a knockoff ding dong. Like you can even taste in the chocolate that is dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah. But that's indicative of any kind of chocolate from a foreign country. Is it's usually not milk chocolate. It's usually a dark chocolate because that's just a standard chocolate so. i i thought this was going to taste different um i'm actually mostly disappointed uh it's not you know it's kind of bland it's kind of dry it doesn't have much flavor in my opinion like the, the cream didn't have a kind of flavoring the like the chocolate was not very explosive I'm pretty disappointed. I'm going to give this a one and a half. Yeah, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more from this, uh, being my pick, and um, I just, I, I just wasn't blown away by this. I mean, it kind of felt like a, a lackluster ding dong. That's what it felt to me, honestly. I'd probably give this like a one point three out of five. It wouldn't be my dessert choice. Your thoughts, Jack? I can agree with that. It, I expected more for how nice it looked out of the package. Yeah. And for it to be like, Trey, you said kind of bland, boring for me, I'd have to give it a one. It yeah. just was not my favorite. Man, uh, just one more thing. Like, when we, when we opened it up, it was a little disappointing because it was all like crumbly and, and it looked as if it like melted or something. And then, you know, it just wasn't wholesome. Like, it wasn't whole when we opened it. It did, it did travel from Korea. we got to keep that in mind. It's if true. I'm comparing it to American candy or American snacks, 
yeah, I could see giving it a one like you guys have. But if I compare it to other international candy that I've had from Mexico and Canada and other snacks from other countries as well, I would say it's probably three and a half or a four because of that. I think the issue that you guys are all facing is that it tastes bland because there's not as much sugar. And I don't disagree with that thought process. I, I totally agree with that. But I would say for what I would expect of a foreign candy, it's on par. My only complaint is it did crumble apart when you opened it and that it looked a little smushed. And I don't mean because they make it smaller. I mean because it looks like something sat on it and squished it in transit. Flavor, texture, I'll give it a three and a half out of four comparing it to other foreign candy or snacks. But presentation and smell, it's getting like a one. We're sorry, South Korea. We didn't really like that one. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Lots of angry South Korean comments. <laughs> I can already see them. I am voting on the peach gummies here. I'll which... say the same. I'll say so, the same. I'm kind of intrigued. Point. They look nice. The packaging looks cool. Yeah. Inviting. Yeah. Now the packaging has some okay. luster. So first off, I'm just going to say that they look like the freaking peach emoji. <laughs> when you look in the bag. Now I'm even more intrigued. <laughs> they definitely smell like uh, peach for sure. Like you don't even have to get that close to it and you can smell it. So I'm going to take one out and pass it Mario! along. But it looks like a little peach emoji. Yeah. Is it like gummy? Is it like a gummy texture? Is it's it like, like a dots texture, kind of. Okay. I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera so everybody can see it. Don't it look like a bag of ass? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were taking that to when we were bar hopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't get there if we don't finish this first. Oh, yeah. Come on, you gotta eat your oh dinner before you get here to serve. Wow. Right. Very true. It's... When I smell the bag, it has an explosion of flavor like just smelling it it smells exactly like peaches like that really hit me smelling it yeah. like, when, you, when you smell it my guy it smells yeah, like it's supposed to like peaches oh my gosh i wonder if they got these peaches from georgia i wonder if they're filled i was thinking that song <laughs> in my head and i wasn't going to say it loud. i was thinking oh, like God. i got my peaches down in georgia da, da, da. oh my god it does really smell like peaches. Like it hits you before you even... Yes. Yeah. But the question is, is it real peach juice used, or is it chemical flavoring? It definitely looks like this is a bag of ass. Wow. It looks like a bag of ass is in there, doesn't it? There's a lot of flavor in here, like what he was saying with the smell. Oh my god, that's strong. But uh, hey. let's, let's jump into it and see what we all think. Um, I think I need another one for science. Oh, you guys already ate shit. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's like, give me a couple more pieces of ass, please. Mm. Wow. Can you share the ass? You know, well, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this ass. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I like this ass. <laughs> Better than any I've had. <laughs> well, then you better start talking to your girlfriend. <laughs> you gonna have some more ass? <laughs> uh, yes, I, I would. Oh, man. I'm not really an ass man, but <laughs> you are today. You're <laughs> missing out. I'll take an exception here. Mm, mm, mm. So what I have to say about this, I mean, I don't mean to rush, but like, I, I can't hold it in no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like this. I, now, normally, I'm not really a gummy kind of guy. Like, I don't really go for gummy candies on a normal basis when so, I yeah, start sure. to get snacks. But when I put okay, this in my trace. mouth, bro. When I put it in my mouth, I started to salivate, you know, and I'm like, I got the chewing it and swishing it around in my mouth, and it actually tastes a lot, like, it, it really tastes very gummy, and that's good, because gummy snacks here in the USA are way too smushy, and I think it has a lot to do with um, the chemical flavoring, um, how like the the quality of the chewiness or whatever the, so much sugar but when it's like from outside the country it's gonna take it tastes different like and that's good it's good i like it i like this i just want to say trey that that is the last one you should eat it because the bag is empty because it was that good 
And since it was that good, ass is that good, nigga. I'm giving that a sorry, I'm like, I know we've been capping the score at like a five, but I'm giving that a perfect ten. Right. Because a perfect ass deserves a perfect ten. <laughs> so true. Um, this this ass snack deserves an, a perfect S rank for me. Uh, this is definitely like the buoyancy, the flavor, the smell, the experience, the packaging, everything in it was just tremendous. And yeah, I picked this up easily. I right. give give the S rank five out of five. It's I'm a perfect wrong. score for me. All this, right. is a, this is a dime, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, you gave your score. Okay, uh, so Perfect ten. Oof, so next good. up should be chocolate. He's an ass man now. I was before. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm going to vote that we go for the choco pie, because I want us to save the Pocky stuff for last. Mm. Why? Because we'll each get our own individual stick. Yeah. Ooh. Black sugar milk tea. What? I don't know. Oh. I haven't seen those, but black sugar milk oh, tea. Okay, like a okay. so you thing. get to tear it open and choco pie. I'm to, like, yeah. It's got the easy tear on the end. If you look, it's got the little notches. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. This is more like a... Oh. Like a whoopie wow. pie. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Like a whoopie pie. <laughs> more wow. like a moon pie. Like moon yeah. Pie. That's what they're called. Wow. Okay. That actually looks more appetizing. He's like, give me right now. <laughs> there you go, you do. I need some whoopee. Oh, <laughs> this smells like a whoopee. Hit up Goldberg. Maybe she'll <laughs> Oh my freaking god. That's a little bit too much aged whoopee for me. <laughs> yeah, she's a little old for me. I'm not trying to go color purple here, okay? It smells good. It does. Yeah. I love the smell. I am not a fan of moon pies, but... Mm. I like moon pies. They bash them. What you mean? They probably might taste a lot better from outside of the country. All right. I'm not going to lie. This literally tastes just like a, a moon pie to me. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like the flavor, the texture, all of it matches. Mm -hmm. So my guess is it's probably the same recipe as a uh, moon pie that this factory bought. And they're making them that way. And the only thing that I could even like remotely say would be different is you can tell it's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. But it tastes so close to just a moon pie for me that so true. It's not easy to distinguish differently. Rating? So I'm giving it a. I don't like moon pies to start with, so I'm giving it like a two and a half to three. Ah, oh, just service. I'm oh saying four. Four out of five or four. Out of four out of five. It's good. Like just not knock your socks off. Good for me. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna have to give this like a six out of ten. Like. I think this is only one thing we decided to get to rank to ten, and the rest were to five. And you're like, no, nope, six out of ten on this one. <laughs> well, you guys, it was like inconsistent. Like I didn't know what scale we were on. Mm -hmm. uh, realistically, we give this a four out of five. Uh, it's not great. It's not not amazing. Like I like I said about other snacks prior, but like if I was in like a a moon pie kind of mood, I'd probably go for the moon pie. I'm actually gonna reevaluate my score. Three out of five. Uh, personally, I would not pick this up, no. Well, I love moon pies. So guess what? I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. And uh, they're very enjoyable. They don't lack luster for me. They're chewy, and they're fresh. Go get you one. All right, up next is the Coq de Asse. Nope. Oh. The yes. French, the South Korean French dessert. Coq de Asse. Definitely different. Yay! I'm going to make a comment and say that box kind of looks like a cigar box. Does anyone else kind of see that in a way? I don't smoke cigars, so I don't know. I also don't smoke in general, so... I can see it. You're on your own. I can see it. My neighbor smokes a bunch of cigars. I can see it. Wow. That's uh, very different. He apparently can't get into it, so he ain't getting none tonight. I had to spread my fingers in this shit, okay? <laughs> oh, the, well, look at that! They're individually wrapped. Yeah, the, yeah. There's, anybody can get one. Here you yeah. go. Here you go. There you go. Classy. Yeah. 
Oh, did you? Right. We totally forgot we were supposed to do trivia in between each one of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did. Hey, we did. we're all fat here, besides Trey. He tries to be fat, he just can't keep it on. <laughs> I lose weight too much. Probably okay. all that exercise you're getting. Hey, what you two do in the bedroom is nobody else's business. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this looks. This was like really difficult to get into. Really? I got it open. That is attractive as hell. Does it look like? It looks yeah. kind of like a. Uh, what are they like the? Wow. Oh, I can't. They like come a in like shawl cookie. Kind of, but they look, remind me more of like a. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't Whoa. I can't it's shortbread. Today. It's a shortbread. Yeah. Oh, shortbread. Look oh, oh, at oh, the camera and show. Oh, oh, show oh, this oh. texture. Like, like you could get up and show oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Hey, this kind of smells like. Like that, right? Smells like the treats you would uh, go into a Chinese buffet and look up, look at the um, the dessert counter. I, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, those uh, little shortbreads. My first thought is it smells like a tree foil cookie from the Girl Scouts. Oh yeah, or like a uh, like a fudge stripe almost. Kind of yeah, getting that. I'm kinda... getting those vibes, Girl Scout cookie vibes. Oh, That's crazy. The mascarpone is like this really thin layer in the center. Wow. Hmm. Mm. I can just feel like this tingling and dancing across my tongue of this flavor explosion. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling right now on the inside. <laughs> I'm just not, like, not trying to show it out, but... Damn. Oh my gosh. This shit busted. Yes! Alright, big brother, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love this. Oh god, no cap, that was good. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That tastes like something I ate wow. on Christmas. I gotta give right. you more of these. This is fucking bomb. Oh, this is so good. I am gonna give you more. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> These buzzing, dog. You know what's I'm good I'm when we all go back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the last one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what are the next large box. I can totally see the next large box of this showing up. And he goes trying to sneak it across the kitchen. And I'll be like, what is that? Goes, Doesn't matter. It's not yours. Stay out of my cabinet. All right. Yeah. We got to rate this. I know we said the 10 scale was only for the one thing. But on this one... Honestly, so far, this and those peach gummies, whatever, Ass. best <laughs> items in the box, hands down. This is getting a 10. Perfect score. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. While I favor this for the rest of the night. I'm going to say, I'm going to give it 20. 20 out of 10. It's that good for me. So good. Um, I give this an S rank, uh, 10 out of 10, personally. This tastes like something I would eat around Christmas time. Forget Christmas. This is something I would put out at every funeral I go to. Make uh, them feel better. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. This is crazy. Because it's like a warm hug. Mm -hmm. This wow. paired with a cup of coffee. That oh, yeah. Good breakfast. Yeah. Or like a nice cup of tea. Something like that. All right, you old woman, you. What are you, like 70 now? <laughs> 65. Don't get it wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, Rose. Oh, this is like um, this is like an amazing embrace. Um, I'm giving it a hundred. Okay, if you're gonna give me these again, please give me these again, and they will get the same rating. Like you um, could accidentally make the whole box those. You can accidentally make me fall in love with this. No, on purpose. I'm gonna marry this shit. <laughs> it keeps sending. Keep keep them coming my way. Well, I fucking love these. These are delicious. He's like, hey, he's like the name of the boxes. Oh, he's, he's hiding the box because he doesn't <laughs> want me to take it. All right, here we go. The Pocky Knockoffs. Pocky what is knock it called? Uh, Pepero. 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 All right. Pepero. Right. Let's, Pepero. Let's do it. Ah, Pepero. 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 <laughs> well, I'll leave it to the man with some Mexican blood to say it in a Spanish way. Fuck you. They come in the same kind of yeah. packaging Pocky does. When it you wear. feels a lot <laughs> thicker. It feels a lot thicker. On like the on like the portion of like the the, the food portion. Of it. Can you stop stroking the candy in your mouth? You can't see yourself, honestly. <laughs> do we need to put like a members only section for this? <laughs> or just go on a different website? Yeah. Look at what the. Okay, that reminds me of like the hot chocolate stir sticks you can buy at the holidays. 
You want to know what this reminds me of? Like a cross between like Pocky and like rock candy almost. I was thinking that from the picture. Now, yeah. if it like starts popping in my mouth, that'll be a different story. Dog, these have a lot more luster and attractiveness than uh, than uh, uh, Pocky. This kind of feels like Pocky on steroids. Like, yes. Pocky. Why are you so aggressive? All right. Oh, Pocky. So, smelling it, it's what I would expect for white chocolate. Because, like, I can smell the cocoa butter in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I expect oh, to get, like, an Oreo flavor out of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so before I bite in, I'm going to actually like just lay the end of it on my tongue and let it start to melt to get the flavor profile of it. <laughs> he didn't read the assignment, apparently. He just bit right into his. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Sue me. <laughs> I thought we were feeding you afterwards. <laughs> Maybe a different kind, but hey, it melts very quickly. Um, it's like is, ice cream. Yeah, chocolate is really good, mm. and I love the crunchy, like darker chocolate. Oh yeah, or cookie bits, I guess. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is nowhere close to the last thing we had, the the mascarpone, whatever things. But I would definitely see this like as something I would probably dip in my chocolate, hot cocoa or even a coffee and stir with until the chocolate melts off and then I would just eat the cookie piece by itself. That's really good. good. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I can agree with that. 4 out of 5 for me too. It's good, but it's not knocks my socks off great like these were. I'm going mm -hmm. to give it a 4.5 out of 5 right here. This is not amazing. But like it's kind of like a bulkier pocky, like what we we're saying. Yeah. Right? Like it's got more crunch to it, it's got more flavor to it than your average pocky. I'd say it's, this is a good alternative right here. It's good stuff. I'm gonna say that I was a little bit let down, um, only because like I I see like this is an attractive ass stick. You know what I'm saying? And to bite into it and have the chocolate melt down very quickly. Not only that, but it's not covered in as much chocolate as Pocky is. That's kind of disappointing. Um, but it's good. It's not disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was packed just right. It has, it, the packaging had a whole lot in it. Only because we took almost the well, majority of it. But anyway, yeah. Um, these are not as good as Pocky. Although they do look as if they were on, they're on steroids. Um, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. It's not that good, but it's good. Overall, I think I'm impressed with this order. Um, we obviously spoke on the things that I think that are not great, but there's a lot in here that I would totally order separately. Oh, yeah. Um, Definitely. And, you know, making references like the shrimp chips for chop. Best thing though, like the fact that we have those left over, I'm sitting here going, we have some chicken in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I could thaw that out and like crunch this up and make like a breading to it. Oh wow! Let's see how it goes. That's a great idea. That is a no. good idea. Oh, that's a great idea. And I could totally see Trey finishing the churros as a breakfast with some milk. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, name your favorites. Hands down. Hands down. Yeah. This Hands cookie. down, this. This, this cookies. Cookie. Yeah. Hands down. Well, you heard it, South Korea. We really love these. Send us a big box of these. We love these. These are amazing. Um, uh, what would be your second favorite? The bag of ass. <laughs> yes, ass of freaking lootly. Yeah. <laughs> that like how we emphasize those. Ass. Were great. I mean, yeah. speaking as we finish off the whole package, yeah. I mean, if they came in like a bigger package, honestly, I'd be killing my waist size. <laughs> if it came in a bigger package, could you handle that with this? Trust me, I think I could. I want to try more flavors of, of the And cheese. that, that, that too, was yeah. really good. I want to try more flavors of this. I like right. this. Well, let's go around. Right. Great flavor. Top three for everyone here. Oh, geez. The coke. This really hits high. The, the coke is the first say. one. We're all, we all First know that one. one. No, that's number one. The bag of ass. The bag of ass. The bag of and then the great candies. The great chewers. Chewers. Uh, Trey? Yeah. 
That's so this is my first one, obviously, is what I said. I like this next, and what else was on the list that I tried that I You like, like the whoopee, the moon pie thing, the chocolate pie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. However, I've always had that in my life. So I'm actually going to go with the um, the ramen to be the third one. Oh, that third was of my good. favorites. Yeah, it was like a, a really nice snack. I like that. I enjoyed it. I can agree with that. All right. For me, obviously, we all know this one's going to be number one for all of us. I'm pretty sure. Second, I'm going to go with this. Bag of ass. Great. Honestly, third for me, I'd probably have to say the steroids Pocky. Because it was really good. I would have to be honest and say, like, it, it's a close fourth to the grape chew. I liked it. I liked the grape chew. I do. It definitely, definitely was close for me. It, they were almost, like, tied for me for third. Like, these two would be a tied for me. What I, do you think they could have did better in order for that to be the cocky and steroids? A little bit more flavor for me, because it kind of only lasted a few seconds. Right. Okay, I got to modify mine real quick here. So obviously the coke de mm -hmm. and then the, the, the bag of ass. But number three for sure is going to be this ramen with the bulgogi beef. That was number four for me. And I'm like, because I was thinking, like, we haven't picked anything savory. And then my brain went, oh, yeah, that ramen stuff was so good. That was good. his third. This was your third? Yes. Okay, yeah. So this, for sure. <laughs> See, my brain wasn't thinking because a friend messaged us to find out where we were. Enjoying snacks. Yeah. Really good snacks. They oh, came out the country. Really good. They're what amazing. How about you, Andrew? What's your top three? Um, I have to say, the obviously, the Jose Dasi was my top favorite. And then the bag of ass. <laughs> and then at third, I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it to the uh, the spicy wasabi. Give some, give them some love. Can I say that back real quick? The uh, the hot. You can keep it. Rice and chicken. We ain't gonna eat that. It's all yours. Yeah, I'm actually gonna keep the others. They eat easier. Yeah. You can have it for free. I can imagine if you pay for it. Let like, me go ahead. We right, right. try a little bit. All right, all right. We'll go be sharing that ramen. before I eat the rest of it. It's so good. This is really right. good. So I'm gonna just tag out saying. Thank you, Trey Murder, for bringing me on and our friends here. Oh, yeah. Because I'm looking forward to next month. So am I. For sure. And I'm definitely looking forward to what comes out in December because I guarantee it's going to be desserts that people eat for Christmas around the world. I'm intrigued by that. I can't wait. Yeah. Man. Wow. And so just to tell everybody again, where is this from? How do you sign up for it if you want to try to sign up for this thing? This is from South Korea. You can legitimately head online to universalyums.com, sign up for your own, um, and pick whichever subscription you want. Me, and this is not an ad. Exactly. We're just sharing so that you guys can enjoy what we enjoyed tonight. And it is not paid promotion. Okay, I'm not promoting. <laughs> no, you can have free promos just like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, he's not standing on the street corner under a red light, so it's not that. <laughs> oh man, guys, this um, this box really made me happy. It was something else, um, and I can definitely say it's exactly what I needed. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button, fam. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right below. Yeah, turn on post notifications, and don't forget to timestamp your favorite part of this video into the comments below, because best believe, mm, mm -mm. I want to see them comments. I want to know where you laughed at. Also, hit up these guys on their social medias. They'll be in the description down below. At him as well. Like you. Deserves it for all the work he did. Remember when he was doing them squats? <laughs> <laughs> that was just called the eye candy. <laughs> I'm glad I can fit some role here. Man. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.